to one on with your comic book readers, Mike from Comic Frontline here, and welcome to my comic review of DC Comics, He-Man the Attorney War, issue number 11. What we saw from the last issue, it gets even more dicey in this issue, and I will explain why. It starts off where uh, it shows uh, how the Great Warrior died of uh, Roberto, and... Uh, when he makes his uh, sacrifice, it was actually a booby trap set for uh, Triclops. So that way they can uh, fight against each other. I will say, though, the fight that they had was really amazing. And I like the artwork, but um, some of it's really gory. So I don't want to show you guys uh, something graphic. And yeah, this is a good artwork picture. Skeletor does... Uh, make an appearance in this book of um this is the after the defeat of a uh, hordak of a uh which one call it? a uh, transfusion that trapjaw did for skeletor and the only way uh that he can uh be a different person is uh with the little uh blood from uh he-man and using uh the, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, Duncan, to make him into the character uh, whom we saw in the last issue. So, with Skeletor's blood into Duncan, both him and Prince Adam fight, or in disguise of Prince Adam, fight off against each other. And he knows, uh, Prince Adam, that that's the uh, voice of uh, Grayskull when uh, he says that he's the half breed failure of a wretched earth woman and a coward son of a king. And trying to defeat him with the Master's Blade, it stops there. We go to She-Ra and uh, Tila that um, are trying to uh, figure out what's going on there, what they encounter with Evelyn. If you want to find out um, how that uh, goes, uh, read the comic book to find out. But let's just say she transforms into something where Tila makes a uh, sacrifice for She-Ra to uh, go uh, to Adam and see what's going on there. Where it goes back to the scene where he does defeat Duncan as he's like saying Adam is already dead but something really uh, serious happens at the end of the book and I really don't want to spoil it because I want you guys to definitely check out this book and see it for yourselves because oh my god this takes this book in a good way to a whole new level for what's going to happen in this comic book. Really interesting book that I read. I give this rating of 4 out of 5 stars. There's no reason why I take off uh, 1 star. The artwork was great and the story was amazing along with the different perspectives that we saw uh, in this comic book which actually explains why Duncan uh, came back when we saw in the last issue. I'm glad I had an explanation to that part. And uh, really amazing. This series is, every issue has gotten better and better. And I always look forward to reading this book as well as reviewing it and share it with you guys here on Comic Frontline. And with that, everybody, that's my comic review of He-Man the Attorney War, issue number 11. Don't forget to check out ComicFrontline.com, Zone4Podcast.com, and Frontline Gaming Zone. We are your number one source for comic and game related news reviews and a whole bunch more. Leave your comments below or wherever the comment box is about this book. If you've been reading it, things you liked, didn't like, or questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. And don't forget to also subscribe to Comic Frontline today for more uh, good stuff that are coming out of this channel. And until next time, everybody, to what you comic book readers, Mike from Comic Frontline. Take care and keep watching. Later, everybody.